Tonight on Poker After Dark, Lynn has some regrets. Colin. Oh. Had no intention of leaving here a winner today. You know what my biggest regret is? Don't talk to me. Berkey has some bad luck. I shouldn't <laughs> have bet flop, but I could have folded the raise. Somehow you're all in on the river. And Sam has a chance to double up. Oh. Well, there's an old saying. The only thing you need to play this game is a chip and a chair. Poker actually isn't about winning and losing. Poker's about making the right decision. When luck shuts the door, you gotta come in through the window. Doyle just double-checked his whole cards. It doesn't look like he has a flush. What's taking so long? Let's go. Wow, Doyle's doing a lot of talking over there. This could be a bluff. We don't stop playing because we get old. We get old because we stop playing. That's poker, folks. The iconic imagery of the Las Vegas Strip conjures up thoughts of Pretty much one thing, gambling. And we're doing a little bit of that here tonight at Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the Poker After Dark suite, though some call it a game of skill. Five players gathered around, Ali Najad with the call. Happy to have you with us. It's a hybrid cash game format, something you may not be used to. Blinds, 5,100 with a $100 big blind ante. $10,000 buy-in cannot be added onto at all. If you get felted, you can buy in for one additional 10K okay. bundle. Raise in the big then, hold. it's adios if you cool go through it. those books. I did jack there, yeah. It was very sad. But Sam Sovereign, yeah. the only player on his second bullet. Lin G, pictured there, up $11,000. Only other winner in the game, in the short sleeve festive shirt and seat for Jake oh. Daniels. Also up 11,000. Matt Berkey, who chooses to flat with really Ace King. Up? No. Down $5,000. Sam Sovereign there, down 11,000 total. And James okay, Romero. I know. Like, I don't want my person to be bothered. Three seat. James, what are you doing? Down 7K. So, three way action to the flop. King high. Check. And there's some stuff cooking elsewhere. Pre flop razor is open ended and C betting. Sovereign has bottom pair and backdoor straight potential. There's no way I get on that. Right. Oh, if I lose. Oh, if you do double sack. If I lose a little bit more. Sovereign can't on tear one off. Huh? To get on raise. The most they get to play tomorrow. Oh, I know. Oh. I'll probably pass. I'm and I'm a big favorite. Right and then now. makes the call and the turn. Yeah. There's, many hours Actually, to go. Two. There's many hours left to go. I'll sell you the seat. I'm not going to pass. Well played. And out of spite, I will play it if you don't buy it. But For it his exact cheap. price. There's no negotiation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I'll negotiate a little. I have your contact information. Yeah. Wait. No. But Berkey choosing to check back, allowing Lynn to take one free pull. Oh, that's she doesn't hit the feet. five or the ten that Money. she needs. Oh. Oh. And she says all in, gets snap okay. called. Plan worked Why perfectly. Every time. The whole thing. It's actually insane. Did you flat, pre flat? 30 Open, dollars. flat. This is so triggering. Had no intention of leaving here a winner today. Absolutely zero. The only intention I had was to just not give it all to Matt. still up? Yeah, but not, not for long. I'm on tilt now. Well, Lynn would do well fuming over there. to breathe. <laughs> nice hand, Berkey. As Berkey I works his way back into the black. See Berkey flat the ace <laughs> Six to one. G still up $6,000. 
on the session. Your peeps. How much time do I have? Peeps. Four hours. Four hours? I lost yesterday. All in slightly deceptive given she had Berkey well covered. Why? Why did I do that? Because cool. you didn't think you had Ace King and you should. Sometimes I just incinerate money for no reason. Incinerate's the word of the day. It's we're incinerating money, incinerating. Yeah, but where is David? Scott, there's so many. <laughs> right, 450. Fresh off doubling right, Berkey's cool. Ace King. Cool. Lynn picks up an Ace King. Savra. Limp calls with the deuces. You're playing for a chip. Good chip. Those deuces are still ahead on this 1074 rainbow board. Two quick checks. <laughs> Sorry. Board pairs on the turn. Lynn not in the mood to blast, and she gets there on the river. This 800 represents 10% of Sovereign's remaining stack. Fold. And without being able to rebuy on that second bullet, perhaps a bit more discipline. You know what my biggest regret is? Tomorrow the wine game? Don't talk to me. No. I don't know <laughs> when that is. So I was supposed to play the bin. OK, what's your biggest regret? Um, tomorrow when the we the river. Like last minute. Go yourself, dude. Actually, go yourself. Are we playing the- I'm actually certain you guys are chopping after yeah. the comment. Oh yeah, 100%. That's what we're doing. They're an Aria, right? They've been here. A thousand percent, sure you know how mad I was after you went yeah. all in with the ace queen? I was so angry. Dude, they changed know, this thing I, I so saw fast. It. From high stakes to here? Just couldn't breathe. All of this is- How could he be that dumb? Little do you know, Jake and I. <laughs> Folding. Well, Lynn is a poker enthusiast, but a startup investor by trade. Right. Has worked her way up the ranks. Starting out in LA, spending a lot of time in Vegas now. The second I loot the pot, I just want to play every hand after that. Does anyone else have Doesn't that? sound standard at all. I think I've won one hand and I had nothing. Two I just knew Berkey was a <laughs> and just fired there. Man, I had, a, I had a deuce. Yeah. I actually had a pretty big hand. <laughs> <laughs> 200, yeah. I like your original story better. <clears throat> I was very live well, against the deuce. Berkey defended his big blind against these bad. threes and is tearing one yeah, off. Deuce. Boy, three double pairs on the turn, you know, counterfeiting that. Daniel's threes. Deuce five suited. <laughs> Standard. Check. You ever hear them call it panda? No. Now a full house on board. Is that 1500? Board. Call 1500. Shot. Berkey. God, I got so unlucky. <laughs> Wait, what? He took a shot. I got unlucky. Oh, I thought the board was. Never mind. You heard I misread it. I thought it was two pair. Yeah, and you guys both played the board. I, that too. I, I thought it was like when I first read it. I'm like, let's go live poker. Like just, it's online. Yeah. yeah. You should play the. Well, you don't want to fly. I just never show quads. Holy sh! Why? Why did I do that? <sighs> I shouldn't have play. bet flop. I shouldn't. Oh, I could have folded oh, the raise. Oh. I could have not gone all in. Oh. How bad was your? Eh? Go f yourself. <laughs> I shouldn't have bet flop, and I could have folded the raise. Somehow you're all in on the river. I was going to raise if you called on the flop. Thanks. I was. Oh, but it worked out. It worked out. I yeah. love glad, you know, I'm glad to keep you around a little while, Sam. Yeah. yeah, I guess I would have been out. So I would have fired it off on that run out. Looked like a pretty favorable run out no, for you're, you're whatever you're your check crazy. <laughs> I had 10 7 to diamonds. Sure. So I had back door. No air. choice. No choice, really. I was going to give you the take it all speech and then not have it. Oh. Okay, you had to plan. You planned the take it all speech already. You're like, all right, if this happens, take it speech. all speech, engage. You really use it, though, I think. Like, I think you get, like, one an hour. To take it all speech? No, you yeah. can just use it every time. It's balanced. <laughs> when he made the great call with Ace the Jack-10. He's up he against the King <laughs> Jack. Ooh, tough one. This is James Romero. <laughs> Flops an open ender up against Trip balls, Tens. Actually. The ace Buckle King up. And the aces. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Check back. And he gets there on the turn. To get snapped off. It feels much worse though to get like to, for him to go into the tank for five minutes and then eventually go. Like, it's the worst. It just happens so often. I want to see somebody do like the. You're, you're talking about the ace queen versus the seven queen sitting there. He's thinking, is he going to fold? It doesn't sound like he's going to fold. 
You did look like you were gonna fold. I wasn't. I was not folding. I was. I just like. I'm just. I thought you sure. were considering it. Ah. Yeah. It's Good so you. hard. It's so hard to have Queen Jack and Jack. It really I'm is. like, is, is he gonna check that and Jack to me twice? It's hard. It, it, you're right. Yeah. Right. So hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're getting a little bit too in depth here. <laughs> you can solve for why later. Well, while Berkey contemplates putting Romero all in, Lin G is headed over to the confession camp. <laughs> Someone needs to listen to me, Matt. Yeah, I'm so angry at myself. That is like just the most outrageous hand. Don't even know why. Like, I usually just check there, but I just really wanted to win the pot on the flop. And then I really didn't want to fold. And then I really wanted to win the pot on the river. It was so sad. So, so sad. But like, let's be honest though, I'm on the river now, I've eight high, what am I really gonna do? Had to let it out. River. The blank is the blank. Doesn't hit Berkey. And many of those Lynn Bucks slide over to James Romero. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts and Auto Care Centers. Do it yourself or have it done for you. That's Napa know-how. And by Cuervo Tradicional, made with 100% agave since 1795. Before the break, Matt Berkey doubled up through Lin G after a failed bluff. Then Berkey gave those chips right back to James Romero thanks to a cold deck. Let's Those are the perfect things to bet on. They are good things. What you thought you did, same thing. Right, 250. Oh. King Queen suited for Berkey. King Jack off for Romero. As Daniel joins the party. Savril getting creative, seeing if he can thin the field. Maybe take it right here. Not so fast, says Berkey. And it's down to heads up. King Jack out of there cover, is good right? news for yep. Savril. Ah, uh, it's close. Seven. Two sixes, two hearts, and a nine. Savril's hand working harder on that board than Berkey's. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. I think that's twenty percent pot. We got like two more hours, right? Do you know? Four. Four hours? Yeah. Four when we get it done. Like 15 minutes ago, so mm. six hours. Nice work from Sam there. Originally from the Florida area. South part of the state. We put like Produced plenty of poker so talent. Sam runs with Pretty a talented good. crew as well. Buddies with Jake Schindler. Fixture in the Aria cash games and high limit tournaments. Got over $13.5 million in career tournament earnings at just 30 years of age. Call. Call. You know who was fun to play with? Help me. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah, I, I, I would really bet. Is. I would bet. Two nines pick up two customers, neither of whom have a jack. Yeah, all of it. I heard he was actually crushing. Like, he was playing really well. I really liked the way he played, honestly. Against that particular yeah. opponent. It's, it was just like, he, he definitely had a strategy. Yeah. And I, I, liked, I liked it. it. But I liked it. I was a big fan. Some white magic. He had yeah. me fooled. I thought he was a stone idiot, but it sounds like he's a genius. 
certain, certain formats, he's got it for sure. I mean, he obviously Lynn. he's WCP and like small buy-in fish fields, like huge fish fields. Yep. He's got, he's Holding got the down. deuce. Peels. Yep. Berkey with I a mean, quick check back on the turn. I was like, just to be safe. Limit, though. I know. <laughs> he didn't, he, I don't know if he, he raised a button. Back maybe maybe hearts get there. Lynn well, he had the such river. a big edge post, it sounded like. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Why would you? this Fondiari? Mm-hmm. That's, I didn't. He think had a big ass post. That's no, when you say that. Did. I was like, That's but so no, I, I assumed he was a dog going in. But I don't know how either of them play at all. But then someone told me I, I'd seen like five hands, and I was like, wow, he's actually a favorite. And then someone that watched it told me, like, yeah, he had him dead. Matt. Milk 700 out of Queen Deuce. Lynn keeps getting cooler in this game. <laughs> Mass <laughs> cooler. <laughs> or King High or something. Versus the <laughs> <high. laughs> Versus the <laughs> Well, it seems like Berkey has Lynn's number tonight. Perhaps that'll be inspiration for her next confessional. Back inside the Poker After Dark suite where it's been a volatile night for the man in the two seat, Matt Berkey. Berkey's turn in the straddle. Straddle 200. Right, 550. Button makes it five and a half with 8-3 suited. Berkey hanging tough and flopping bottom pair against middle pair on a six high flop. Two quick checks. About 500. Oh. $500 turn bet from Berkey. Thinking that that's not Daniel's neighborhood gets called in a weird river, putting forward a straight on board. Check. Deuce. Three. No action on the end, and to shut on they go, with Daniel's taking it. Shooting a couple of looks over at Matt, as if to say, you saw, I, I raised with 8-3 suited, right? Jake's Take resume includes that handsome 203,000 last year. Chips under the pot. Just pippy. I just want to pip. That's yeah, it. no, it's Punish you're doing the great. At the WPT Five Diamond Championship. Rattle 200. No attackers out of the small and big blind. Daniels in position with deuce for offsuit. Flops himself bottom pair out in front of king nine and nine seven. About 300. Berkey leads right out. Call. Jake. Two players. Invests in a peek at the turn. Check. Earns him a check. That's seven fifty. And with that check, Daniels able to fire 750 with the best hand and take it down. That was very anti -chromatic. 30 big blind poker usually is. Not everyone. I dusted off 30K in a 200, 400 PL game last night after being 
a 40K winner in two hands. I saw 36 very quickly. <laughs> that seems to be like the trajectory. Right. Trajectory, you think so? Sit down, Wind run massive. it up for a bit, and then you just get it was a, it was a, it was a cooler. I think it's a cooler. When you have like the second nuts versus the nuts, that's a cooler, right? Confirmed. And PLO. I assume that's like standard. I feel like it's standard. Yeah. Ooh, should have folded. Knew he had the nuts. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Who is the opponent? I don't know. Some guy. Broadway cards Maybe face off as I no, I'd never met any of them before. Defends with king queen and flops top sure. pair in a gutty I against the joint. middle pair. And then lost. It's like all in. Is it? Ooh. That play by play was really, really good. <laughs> you guys probably know exactly the, two, the four cards that I had too, right? Exactly. There. I had suits and everything. Yeah. It's too easy to tell. Two spades, two diamonds. Oh my god. <laughs> it was all straighty stuff. Two blur. 175, the C bet from Romero. So I, I don't want to get Doug too much credit, that. but he made one of the best laydowns I've ever seen. The best laydown I've ever seen live uh, two weeks ago. Tell me more. Doug has 10-7 off. Check. And big like blind. big blind. It's like one no K. Betting on four the turn ways. and Romero Flop is makes aces Jack, up on the river. Eight, nine. Wow. Rainbow. Okay. No, sorry, two spades. Two spades. Second. True story, two spades. Yep. Um, somebody donk bets, who's whatever, one K. Doug makes it four. Phil Helmuth goes on for 95,000. Fold, fold, fold. Doug's just like. And he folds. Fold. And Phil I mean, Hummuth has Queen 10. Queen 10. Yeah, to be fair, it's Phil Hummuth. I know. I mean. And it was going to be like, yes, but still, but still. Yeah, but it's still. That's still. It's still. He showed for 95,000 to 4,000 when he can only have Queen 10. Exactly. Like, I would have considered folding the regular Queen 10 knowing that he has like the. The, the queen the tennis like, No, yeah, you wouldn't. Well, true to the clockwise direction of action, whenever Matt wins chips from Lynn, he gives them right to James Romero. We'll be right back. I still think it's about Welcome back to Las Vegas for more Poker After Dark and our 5100 No Limit Hold'em hybrid cash game. Still five-handed. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe several times that also added up yeah. to an odd green chip stack. <laughs> Thank you. Ace queen. Check. Swing and a miss. Same story for queen jack, though. Out of position. 175. 175. And without a diamond. Still wants to take a peek. Got Even that now. 10 working. See? You don't have to pick against anyone. And now an open ender. Check. His queen's still best. Won't want to hit an ace from this point forward, though. That Pregnant pause there out of Daniels. Two players. Before he chose to call the 1400, and he gets there on the end, but diamonds show up. And he's not blocking any of those. K, I can the come up with a single two cards I beat. Literally not a single two. That's very depressing. 
Three, four of spades. Not thought of it. Mm. Ace queen. Funneled into the muck hastily. Really by your intelligence. Thanks. He's a professional card counter. It's a soft for why we already figured this out. Professional outreader. There you go. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you won't let me live that one down, will you? No. Okay. Got it. But at least your green chips are even. Imagine if you won the pot. Then they still would have been even. No. Yes, they would have. Do you not understand? I don't. Okay. Ray, 250. Call. Lynn's Ray, open. 1300. Flatted by James with the pocket threes on the button. But his speculating days could be over. As Daniels makes it a thousand more to go with a seven from the small. Five to one that they wouldn't still be even. Indeed. You will it me five to one that they wouldn't still be even? Mm -hmm. The two crabs go into the muck. Oh, I get the real menu. I, I get the real menu. Five. I got the wine menu. They took it away. Okay, and then I win this pot. <laughs> and on that note, let us check in on the stacks. Jake Daniels, big winner on the session. High water mark up over $14,000. Sam Sovereil has over 12000 but he's in for twenty, so he's actually stuck about eight k. Lynn. Still in the black, up 2,000 off of her high of 11. Matt Berkey down 3K, and James Romero down about 5,500. No, I'm, I'm defending your honor, Lynn. Are you really? Yeah, no, I did. No, I, I just, think he's actually right. No, he's not. I'm definitely right. To say. I just defended your honor. Three-way pot, you bet 425. Everyone calls, and then you bet. You take it down. No, but you it was... It was head, like it was heads. Oh, up. if it's heads up, then you're totally wrong. <laughs> if, either way, it didn't matter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, actually, it but might if, you, if you bet 125 Maybe. three ways and you win, you d instantly get odd number of greens. It just can't be heads up ever. Right. Impossible okay. to be heads up and win. Okay, you're saying way too many cards in an order that I don't understand. Just kidding. Um, I will. Yeah. Huh. I'm just gonna. Berkey, you follow. Hmm? You follow. Oh, great. Impossible. Heads up. Mm. Was you that hand? You also that, follow. That hand was heads up going into the. Just heads up the entire way, right? Okay. I make it 250. Also the case, someone could, bet 225. someone could bet 225, yeah, you raise blind. it to 700. He wasn't small, the blind. No, small Two blind. players hold but a seven in a raised it pot. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't matter. Which okay. gives them both so the bad side of an open ender. Advantage I Romero, though, I get one with the flush draw. And he puts in. But a pair of eights for Daniels mm -hmm. There's an odd number of, in the lead. Even number of chips. Right, now win the pot with your two even green chips. Cool. You want to make it 50 to one? <laughs> I win the pot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not convinced I'm wrong. Fine, Christ. Okay. okay, you have two green chips and you win the pot. Where did my other green chip go? <laughs> no, it's right here. Wait, this is. Okay. Romero. Fires 500 on the turn and gets Daniels off the eights. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where four players are still on buy-in number one, but Sam Sovereil sits on his second and final bullet. It's 100% even. I would that was a straddle, right? Call. Straddle. Definitely not a call. It's definitely a straddle. straddle. I'm so sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, Life's battle. Bread 450. Round two for Sovereil and Daniels potentially Oops, as he I'm makes sorry. it 450 no, to no, go. No, there's an odd number in my hand. This That's time, Romero. Wait, no, there's an even number in my hand after I bet. I 
I bet, because now I have two of these. These put in. All in? All in. It's 100% Rip city. No takers. Just take advantage of my strategy. Yo, if you hit me with your cards, I get a little bit Can we get a ruling on that? No. Do you think you now might I, be Because now I need, yeah, of course I think I might Yeah, be. okay. Now I need to think about it. You're actually an idiot. I thought you threw it too. No, no, I'm just <laughs> Okay, make sure. I was like, I don't want to <laughs> Can you tell me, like, yeah, yeah. where you went wrong? Where to go? I'll do the uh, soft shell crab salad. I'm not positive I'm wrong and yet. I also uh, okay, I'm well, do I've you spent still... too much time Okay, what if yeah. I give you two? Yeah, yeah. We have this menu. There you go. Thanks, bro. Yep. This is not the menu. Yes, right here. Uh, Do you want lemongrass? I want the yes. Singapore noodles. Uh, five. Yep. May I see your work? No, Before. you absolutely may not. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, if you're gonna like <laughs> nail me to the cross and you then be wrong. Nail me to the cross first. Holy Oh, don't they have the uh, and spicy cucumbers here? To me about what, math. The, Did you know that I'm for? Asian? The spicy cucumbers, right? Jesus. Isn't it? Don't they? Some confidence over there. I don't like cucumbers. I want spicy Salads. cucumbers. <laughs> Lynn picks up Daniel's yeah. big like, line. Isn't, isn't uh, some grass they have the spicy cucumbers? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, they have spicy cucumbers. Fried rice too. They so might also have that lemon grass. Can you tell them to do like no garlic? Like All I know the lemon grass has is coconut. They have spicy Asian cucumbers. No garlic if that's possible. Oh. That's what I want. I want the spicy yeah. Asian cucumbers. I also want the spicy Asian cucumbers. Really, have you had them? Uh, no, but Ooh. I'm excited to try them. They're delicious. I've actually Thank made them at home before. Jake, check call to buck yeah, 75. No anything. That's possible. Time and draw shows up on the turn, and he comes off betting. I'm guessing there's no garlic in the sweet day, but the salad might have it. Chicken pad thai, no spice, please. 1400. Lynn, not convinced. It looked like 1400. A quick call from Jake after a look back at his hand. And now the fourth diamond hits. Lynn has just ace high. Okay. Will she step away from the pot or get after it? look back and quick call after being raised on the turn does give one the sense that perhaps the opposition has a diamond. Here's in spite of that, it she still bets and gets it done. <clears throat> Good river for you. I think. Yeah, I wasn't sure how I was gonna win it after you called the turn, I'll be honest. I thought about barreling river, but I'm just like, I just have a purr. Lynn. I just wanted to win a bluff. Yeah. Sure. Reveling in the bluff as Let's she go, shows it off. In. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just sad that I didn't book the five to one. Fifty to one he gave you. Yeah. Yes. Mm. On some curious George math problem. You got fifty to one. Paul. Yeah. I could win on a technicality. I can't win. He could have okay. called with two black chips. Okay, we're talking about the pot as it happened. You can't twist the facts just because. That's what I'm saying, as it happened. You could have put in two black chips instead of. I don't remember. As pot it happened, blind versus as blind, way Savril it smashes yeah. trip kings. As as in, he did not put in two black chips. He put that's in. That's what I'm saying, I don't know. Decides to put his well, money maybe in you should after the flop of the you side. Don't know. 300. You're 100% certain he put in. Three greens. I am 100% certain he put in three greens. Okay. Do you want to give me 50 to one on that too? No, that would be insane. I just said I don't remember. <laughs> Sample not wasting any time. Three X's it to 300 and gets called. I got you. I love being right. Fills up on the turn. It feels so good when it does. Yep. Both players check as Savril perhaps looking to induce on the river. Now there's a full house on board. 
But Sovereign has the king, which is still good. first wave of boats on the shores of Normandy deployed by Daniels here. Really? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's a I little bit more you know, That's a very 4,000 pieces of cannon fodder and now it's time for an Oscar nomination for Sovereign. Obviously it's not impossible that King's Full is beat! Nothing. And he lays it down, giving Daniels credit for quads. Really wanted that $500. <laughs> <laughs> How about the video of quads? Before the break, Jake Daniels bullied Sam Sovereign off the second nuts. And for more on that hand, let's send it to Jonathan Little. Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Little of PokerCoaching.com and let's analyze this interesting spot. Whenever the pot is very likely to be split, a strong play is to bet large, especially if you could have one of the effective nut hands. Jake correctly realized that he could easily have a king or a 10 in this scenario and made a gigantic four times the pot river bluff. While most of your opponents will call when they have a king or a full house better than the board, many players will fold out a chop awarding you all of the pot instead of only half of it. And sometimes your opponents will make a read like Sam did in this scenario, which resulted in Sam getting none of the pot instead of all of it. How would you like to play with me on Poker After Dark? Well, now is your chance. I'm giving away one $5,000 buy-in seat to play with me next season. Head over to pokercoaching.com slash pokerafterdark to enter the giveaway. What's your business? Uh, I feel like you told me before, I'm, I'm not a... No, I don't know. We've played a couple of times. I don't think we've Coolers, right? Huh? Are they coolers? Yeah, tumblers and coolers. Were you in the process of selling your company? I sold it. You did sell yeah, it. Did. Congratulations. It. Thank you. I sold it in April. Uh, the company who I was... Tough answer. What? The, oh. the father company. There you go. The parent out. company of, yeah, it was, it was a much bigger entity. I was oh. a small profitable branch. A very small profitable branch. <laughs> James is just. And, yeah, and, then, and, then, and then James and then. He makes a ton of cups. I feel like you guys are making this up as you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it does sound kind of. Absurd. It does sound pretty absurd. Yeah, I don't believe I make any of it. plastic. It's a true. It's a true. Cups. Deal. They're not Just plastic. I do. They're not plastic. I do They're... more volume than anyone in the U.S. and I do it better, faster, and more profitable. Oh. And more profitable. Well, you uh, used to, right? Because you sold it. Nobody no, I'm still, still works CEO. there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand what's going on. They kept on. him on as CEO, but they bought out all the equity. He used to have the equity. Well, They're like, we interrupt. We still like you. As a CEO, so we want you this to edition of you Entrepreneurs instead. Weekly we to, to bring you bottom equity. set against Fish. top pair. So now we can run that to the ground. And he already got paid. Yeah. Ex but they gave him incentive. Except they we, said, but except if you except do we've tripled good. since I've sold. Yeah. So you're a fish. <laughs> Lynn. Like an incredibly rich Lynn, whale now. <laughs> Flatted the button. <laughs> Both pre and post flop and now after Daniels goes to 800 on the turn having picked up the gut shot straight draw she drops another two dimes on it if you want to see a river since James is helping you answer uh, Sam's questions do you want his input on this hand too or would that be helpful do you think? I try not to listen to James <laughs> Wouldn't that mean they already own it? No. He's in a big pot. Yeah, I mean, because he, he bought the branch out. He bought the branch out. 
Right, and then sold it back to Jake the, sold it back to the parents. makes the call. Okay. But now hearts come in on the uh, end. It's like um, yep. buying McDonald's franchise. Nitty is checking my life. Queen, you got it. Yep. Okay, yeah. That was super nitty. Just don't like to bet my strong hands. Mm. How am I losing? <laughs> Hi, Sam. I did not want to call it a turn. So Lynn is back to scooping chips while Savril is wondering if he'll ever win another pot. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts and Auto Care Centers. Do it yourself or have it done for you. That's Napa know-how. And by Cuervo Tradicional, made with 100% agave since 1795. Everyone likes his idea, like, so he's, like he's influential. Like he's so influential. Tell me what you have. Speaker. Did you have quads? Let's see some fans. Uh, on Shut the up. King King 10 10 10 board? Uh, yeah. I can't remember. Red of 400. Did anyone fold a 10 there? You're really concerned about that 3K pod. <laughs> would you bet me I didn't have a king? You would have called it a king. You think what? I was trying to bluff a king off? Wow. Sorry. Is that 400? Mm -hmm. Is it a reshuttle? Mm -hmm. That's a reshuttle. Mm -hmm. Oh, piece of candy. 1,400. 1,400. Oh, Jack Daniels. Double straddle. All in? All in. Draws a raise to 1,400 from Daniels right, out of the big and Savril. Rips it with a suit of days. Probably is. <laughs> Can I have a total count, please? Total count? Okay. Sam's like, oh, I know, I don't have a rebuy. I have a, I have queen high right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm calling just for good for TV. It was like 11-8. It was like 11-8, so. Wow. Okay. Jake wow. <laughs> decides to call with Queen Ten suited. Yeah, I want to go twice, man. Okay, twice this man. I can't rebuy. <laughs> Looking to bust you Sam, but card. agrees to run it twice. <laughs> I really, I'd really prefer to go once, but I let We're you call. Gonna do twice. Daniel's showing off some gamble and perhaps looking to administer some pain. What Ooh, a sweat! Trade draw. <laughs> Gutty against yeah. the nut flush yeah. draw. <laughs> oh. That's fun. Isn't that? Uh, fun? This Ten game is terminal. You cover? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Puts Daniels in front. Can Sam connect? Mm -hmm. No, the board pairs and now Savril. <laughs> <laughs> Is left in need on the second run out. Do you think he'll flop the, the straight or the flush? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really feeling like the me. second one. Mm, must be the straight. Oh, no. <laughs> he got me with a Mike Possible call. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be fixed, right? He called the queen tent. <laughs> I have to hobble out of here, too. That's the worst part. <laughs> Not over yet. <laughs> Top pair against bottom pair. <laughs> no heart on the turn means Savril needs an ace or a three. <laughs> <laughs> that thing doesn't look very useful. <laughs> <laughs> Two full boards and Daniels shamelessly rips. Down goes Sava, leaving the crew four-handed and the hobble of shame forthcoming. Next time on Poker After Dark. Hooligans. Only four players left means there's nowhere to hide. Just walking out of here with every chip on the table. If I have to rob you guys, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's the last chance to pull ahead. As soon as I did it, I was like, no! And the last chance to get stacked. Oh. Supposed to open shove. Now I get punished. Jake, how does it feel? That's gonna be a good one for TV.